Camille here, one third of Pretty Brown and Nerdy, and oh my god, San Diego Comic-Con, the mother of all conventions, is right around the corner, and I am slowly but surely getting prepared for it. I'm kind of freaking out because by the time this video goes up, it'll probably be just a couple of days before I fly off to sunny San Diego, and why that sounds like a dream, and it is, and I'm grateful to be there, oh my gosh. I'm a little bit stressed because I need to pack, I need to figure out what I want to do. There's so many things on the docket that I need to do and I'm just kind of like a little frazzled. But I'm taking a deep breath because I do have information to share with y'all on how to prepare for a convention. You'd think that I've learned a few things by now, but spoilers, I'm still a hot mess. Still gonna give you some tips though. <laughs> I'm gonna give you my five tips on how to best prepare for the convention so hopefully you have a successful lovely wonderful awesome amazing time don't know why i don't know i'm memeing oh man yeah i'm gonna do that so let's kick things off with number one it's kind of a little bit of a vanity tip but whatever this is what i do Personally, I want my skin to look really, really good and clear for the convention, so I suggest masking for your face at least two or three times a week previous to the convention and drinking as much water as possible so your skin is super clear and radiant for all the selfies you're probably going to take with all your friends, celebrities, other cosplayers, etc. You know what I'm saying? So number two is make a schedule for what you want to do at the convention. Note that every convention does not require you to make a giant schedule or something like that, but when you're going to something like Comic-Con and there's so many events and there's so many things you want to do, you kind of just have to make a plan. To quote Captain Cold from The Flash, make the plan, execute the plan, expect the plan to go off the rails. You really never know what's going to happen at a convention, so having a rough sketch of plans might be useful to you. Tips number three and four have to do with packing. Number three, pack everything you could possibly need in your luggage. If you're a cosplayer, double, triple, quadruple check. Make sure you have your contacts. Bring an extra hot glue gun. Do all of that. All of it's necessary. The fourth part is bring a convention bag that has all of your essentials like a power bank or two, chapstick, your meds if you need them, sunglasses, sunscreen. Just bring it all. My fifth and final tip is just make sure you get some rest, y'all. The next few days might just destroy your body and soul, so you're going to need a lot of rest in the days leading up. I know you have cosplays to work on, I know you have things to plan, but just get a good night's sleep before you go to the con and you'll see a difference, I promise you. Anyway, that's it for me. Um, those are a few of my tips. Now, this isn't all of the preparation that I do for a con, but these are like the five things, or five things that I think are necessary for preparing for a convention. If there's anything that you think is totally necessary that I left out, that I forgot, oops. But just leave it in a comment below so we can get some feedback and so people know what else they need to do for a con. Just because you're not a first time con goer, or if you are a first time con goer, we could all use a little bit of help now and again on knowing just what to do for convention life. Because it's a crazy life, I mean, you know? Thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment, check out all our social media. And I'm going to calm down because there's like less than a week left to Comic-Con and I'm a little bit on edge, but I'm just going to chill. I'm going to do the things that I said in the video. <laughs> and until next time, I'll be feeling better next time. I don't know. I'm being crazy. Anyway, bye y'all.